Well, once it starts, because I think that the muscle is by the bladder rather than in the cock. So once that's opened and it's flowing into the, the cock, then it all you just have to get it all out. Yeah, but if you stopped it at the bladder, so say the bladder was half gone, and yeah, then you just emptied the pipe. No, no, no. I think not I think, possible. I think it is possible. And I it's think, not. I just think you're not trying hard enough. I personally have tried. You just nip it off. I've done experiments. Uh, you, you can hold. It off. You can hold. If you held the cock. Yeah. It's closed. Yeah. Then you would that would hold it in. I you don't, you. As soon as you take your hands off, that's going everywhere. Do you think they had like really dirty sex in Victorian times because they had nothing else to do? Well, yeah, because I mean, Jack the Ripper. Yeah, I mean, that was more about the killing, wasn't it? I don't know, Jim. I wasn't. I wouldn't want to say. <laughs> like, There's not even evidence that he did shag him, is there? I thought there was jizz. Or is it famous because um, there wasn't any jizz? I don't know if they had the technology to tell what was jizz and what was just a bit of, I don't know, custard or something. Custard. They didn't have custard in Victoria. Of course they did. You think that they didn't have jizz but they had custard? They had jizz as well. I just was saying they didn't, have the te- <laughs> they didn't have the technology to detect jizz. Like, you know now they use an ultraviolet light and it's like... Yeah, oh, don't do that in here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the natural patination of the duvet. <laughs> patination, you're right. Patina. <laughs> Remember when you came out? <laughs> no, I've never touched a wee in cock that isn't my own. Really? Yeah. Has Tom never gone and hold this? Not for like sexual reasons. I guess like I wanted to do it because I had never held a pissing cock before. Yeah, and for me that's see. not. There wasn't, like I expected it to feel like you could be able to tell there was some motion, like a hose pipe, like you can feel the water coming through. It's not really, it's just like, oh that's just, that's just leaking, yeah. It's a lot limper than I'd hoped as well, because like when there's when they're not erect, they're very just they're so soft. Yeah, you could almost squeeze. You the could right hide th- that into nothing. You yeah. could push that into yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how uh, drag queens do it. Well, they they pop the round, bollocks in. They? they pop the bollocks back up, and then they t- tape right the way round. They pop the bollocks up. Oh, you can pop your in, bollocks into your stomach, and then tape the dick through the. And gooch. Then to take the dick through the. Dick through the gooch. Dick through the gooch. And put pants on over the top. That's a rigmarole, isn't it? A lot of effort. Probably not that comfortable. Just wear a... I've seen that, um... William What's... Belly? Yeah, I've seen him talking William. about it. Willem Belly. Don't call him William, he'll, he'll flag you off. Yeah. Ooh, I'm so sassy. <laughs> I've got a fat arse. Just <laughs> wear a puffy skirt, though, is my argument. Yeah. Or is it more about, do they like that? What, the cock? Yeah. No, you shouldn't be able to see any trace of it. Could you watch that tiger do his documentary on, like, sex and drag queens and stuff? And he did that to him. Tiger from Outnumbered, the comedy. Oh, I've met him, yeah. His dad's bent over from porn. <laughs> he is. Really? Is that yeah. why... That's why he could do it. That's why he wasn't uncomfortable doing it. Because his dad's, if your dad's porn... His mum and dad are porn. Oh, really? that's how they met at work. That's why he's called Tiger. Yeah. Well... Uh, well... You can get away with that if you're in porn. I don't know. But his dad is actually bend over. And that's why he got into those sex parties and stuff. Yeah. Then. That's why, I think that's why the, the idea of the documentary was. What, so has he taped up his cock? Yeah, he did that. Because he was like... On camera? Yeah. You saw it? <clears throat> no, you saw a lot of his body though. He's quite doughy. Yeah, he looks like he is. He's in, in the face though. He's got a weak he could... jaw. See, I thought he was going to be quite thin. Because he's 18, a most 18 year old boy. Is he 18? Yeah. Still only 18. He's not good looking now, Jim. No, I know. I don't mean it like that. I thought, I thought, he he was, I thought he'd aged. I thought he was 18 a few years ago. No, I was, I was hoping that he'd turn into a bit of an Ezra Miller type character. Mm. He didn't. He's, he's quite got an interesting fluid, face. Ezra Miller. From um, Thingy, well, Don't Tell Kevin. Kevin. Don't tell him. <laughs> Ezra Miller. He is, he's gender fluid, he's queer. He is, and hot. I don't mean that in like a 1970 sense, he describes himself as queer. Yeah, he's queer and gender fluid, and I like that about Take him. Taken back the... He's an enigma. Mm. What do you think about the idea of... He's not a great that? actor. What? I think he's an incredible actor. I didn't. I've only I found seen... it a bit... Try hard. When you talk about Kevin? Yeah. Have you seen the Stanford Prison Experiment? 
No. Have you seen him in... I've only seen him in... Perks of Wallflower. Oh, if, yeah, I've seen him in that. Have I? Well, he is in it, so if you've seen it, you would have seen him. Oh, but I don't know if I've seen the film. No. Do you... Well, there's a way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> what, using this? Yeah. I'm tired, Charles, I told Lerman. you. Baz Luhrmann? Logan Luhrmann. The director. Yeah. 